Hey guys. Hello. What do you got cooking today, Addie? Well, um, so we got this awesome RGB LED from Electroman J, and I was told that I could make it all pretty and blinky and shiny um, by using the parallax propeller. And so that's this is the parallax demo board. Um, I've never programmed before, and so you know I need a little help getting set up. But essentially, I'll just show you the board here. This is the actual propeller chip. Um, it's got 44 pins on it, and it allows for uh, mouse, laptop, um, control, and I think, what is this? Well, anyway, so we have the programming cable that hooks into here via USB, which is the super UFO-y shiny thing that we've got going on. And then this is, of course, the power cable that goes to our power supply. Um, power and, strip. Or power strip. And here is the on off button. So the way you know if it works is lights, LED lights, good. Okay, so um, the first thing that you gotta do once you've gotten it all set up here is you need to go to the parallax site and you need to go to the download section. Um, so you see there's a whole bunch of propeller downloads. And you see down here a propeller spin tool software version 1.3. And you just click on this folder. Okay. And, oh, it's downloading. <laughs> well, you've already got it. So, so I've already got it. Um, but once you set it up and once you've installed it and everything, you end up with, and if you execute it, you end up with this window. Okay that's nice, clear, open, clean, and this is essentially where your code goes into. So, what I wanted to do, um, we thought instead of going into the LE LG, or LED RGB strip, we would first make these LEDs light up that are right here. Um, and so I have my first program that I've written for it. Pub main DIRA 16 that's just calling on pin 16. And if you look, sorry to make you go well, back. Well, it's forth. setting those to the output mode. Yep, it's so setting those to output. 16, the pin 16 is now an output. Yep. And then it um, essentially says. Addy wrote this code, so if it looks really <laughs> weird and wrong, you know it why. It probably is. Um, so it sets. She likes to brag that she makes every. Um, mistake in the book. Once. Well, I do. <laughs> oh, maybe this repeat shouldn't be there. Yeah. Oh, here. I'll just delete it. And uh, your tabulation is important. There you go. There you go. And there's little gray stuff that appears for tabulation, which is kind of cool. Just All right. gives so you graphical representation. Looks like it turns on pin 16, waits a little while, and then turns it off and waits a little while and repeats it. Right. So you just go run, compile current, load RAM, load RAM, and look at that. Blinky, blinky, blinky. She's got blinking light. Yep. And so I was kind of excited because I was like, well, it's going a little too fast, so I'll see if I can slow it down by changing how much time, um, instead of the 3 million cycles, I think, it's 6... 6 million. 6 million. So I'm going to load that, and it's slower. Well, it's half as fast. Right. So then I looked at this and I was like, well, can I make it, you know, go stepwise upwards? And how would I do that? It's like this one that you're looking at now is the one where you were trying to turn uh, more than one of them on and off with a single command. Correct. So the 16 dot dot 24, that's pin 16, 16 to 24. And what we had to use was binary to... Um, I guess make them turn on or off. <laughs> well, it's 16 through 24 is 8 bits, and you've got 8 ones or zeros there in a row. Yeah. So each one has its own one. One and zero. I guess that makes sense. So then let's run that. Ooh. Oh, whoops. Maybe this is the different one. This is, uh... Maybe this was the next you've step. You've got them flipping back and forth here. Yeah. Which is very interesting. Yes. I like it. And I was excited about that. I was like, look at that! It's alternating. Alright, so now I finally wanted it to go stepwise up and... 
And she had to learn a new command for that. The, yeah. Uh, this is a repeat index from 16 to 24, like a for next loop is what it would be in basic. Yeah, and we had a, I had to introduce the variable index. Um, so instead of this, this being 16 dot dot 24, it was the variable index. So your code is basically going through them one at a time from 16 to 24. Correct. And it turns one on and then off, and then it goes to the next one, turns it on and then off. Correct. And we'll just load it up. And then it goes up. Then it goes back down and up. Excellent. And so actually, I have a The question. point of all of this is just to be able to learn some of the basics of spin. Yep. Uh, the programming language for this little microcontroller. Yep. So that she can do much more fancy things with those RGB LEDs. But it's probably going to take a few videos worth <laughs> of uh, Addy. Uh, learning this stuff, so we figured we'll just kind of dedicate Tuesdays to Addie and let her keep us updated on her progress each week. On my programming skills, my yeah. mad programming skills. She's never done any coding before either, so this is uh, it's all new territory for her. Yep. I think uh, that pretty much uh, wraps up that introduction. Yep. And uh, you guys uh, tune in Friday for uh, an update on one of my projects. Awesome. See you guys then. Bye. Bye. We post videos all the time, so don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Twitter at TYMKRS.